video of how I'm applying for UX jobs in the tech recession and always remembering to love what you do. A, you, you, you're very natural in presenting. Like oh, thank it, it, you. It, there's not many areas that we've given feedback, but if, if I were, just to add uh, to this, where the, the future is going. All right, thank you. So I finished my creatives and entrepreneurship class final presentation today. So my teacher brought in some guest critiques and one of them said I sounded like I present very naturally and I thought that was pretty nice to hear. And that's one of the things that I learned about going through you know, the job interviews for this company that I'm interviewing with. I did the phone screen that was 30 minutes, did a behavioral that was like about an hour, and did the portfolio walkthrough presentation thing that was also an hour. Final interview round for this company is the whiteboard challenge. I've done mock whiteboarding challenges back in my bootcamp at Springboard, made a lot of videos on that, but yeah, I've never had to do that for a job or an internship interview or any official interview. But what I have been doing to prepare for that is literally going to a coffee shop, reading a Medium article of how to do a whiteboard challenge, looking at somebody else doing a mock whiteboard challenge, and I think just first knowing what software you're going to use, probably I've been told that it was going to be in Figma, so I think that'll be pretty intuitive if you're in UX. And then second, ask as many questions as you can. They're more expecting you to lead and offer to be a collaborator, but you're still leading the, the conversation. And third, be prepared to go in with a framework in mind. So I'm planning to just watch like another tutorial or so, kind of fiddle around in Figma, just saying, you know, typing up stuff for asking notes about context and like business constraints and, and whatever. I, I try not to think that I'm presenting, but it's more I'm just showing what I did and we're gonna have a conversation about it. Because the thing that I struggled with so often before, and I still struggle with it now, but since I've been doing it more frequently, I, I'm not as anxious anymore. I come to realize, you know, I did interview other people before, and it's really just, say, recruiters or the interviewers' perspective. I'm not asking things, or I'm not looking at you or the presentation trying to find fault or trying to make you feel intimidated. I'm just looking because I'm curious, and I'm just asking questions because I'm curious. And I also found that to be the exact same thing when I was doing the interviews, doing the presentations, where I'm no longer thinking that I have to almost put on a performance of being, in a way, this super professional person. I'm presenting my work, I'm presenting you know, my final school presentation stuff in a way that feels very natural to me. That was a super long-winded way to say that hopefully I'll be finished with final interview round um, by end of next week before I graduate, you know, talking about what's currently happening, going through thesis, applying for a job, doing graduation stuff, um, setting up an LLC, doing my taxes, um, trying to recreate my past work. So it's, it's all these things that has been so chaotic to manage everything, but we are trying to make it one step at a time. I'll try to edit this best I can before going on. And until I have other updates, I will catch you later. <laughs>
talking to some of my friends, they work at like Meta and Google and whatnot. When I was asking them for advice, they really said that try to just go in with a framework, ask a lot of questions, and just remember that you're a collaborator. On top of that, something that I want to add on was don't think of yourself as being interviewed, but think of this whiteboard challenge as you being more of a design consultant and they are coming to you for advice. And I think when I thought that to myself, that you're not being interviewed, but for this case, you are instead a consultant, that helped a lot when I was trying to pretend that I was in these YouTube videos where other people are doing this mock interview. When they're playing this thing, I would try to talk to myself of what I think I would say. If say if I got a fake problem of design this dog walking app, they asked me to consult them on this problem, what would I do? And I try to think of what questions I would ask, any business problems that they're currently facing, what's the current research that has already been done, what's their target audience who has already been using services, has they already done anything in the work so instead thinking of it like I'm a consultant has really freed my mind up to not feel so stressed and instead just approach it again like a conversation more than portfolio presentation I think the best that I can do is just review frameworks you know kind of have categories of how the challenge could go of gaining context finding right then the problem and specifics going through use cases and then going through the final f flows i'm not going to spend more than another hour on this i think the most important thing is just to get a good night's rest review a framework and just try your best into having that conversation tomorrow so i will get back to this and i will update you as soon as i can <laughs> And then the other thing is when it comes to all of the outing on this credibility, right? So maybe Hey, so it is now Monday. My interview is about 45 minutes from now. I'm doing some final wrap-up stuff. Overall, I do feel pretty good. So wish me luck and I will update you as soon as I can. <sighs> so I'm done. Final round of the interview is finally done. Yeah, so I think it went well. It's like the way I feel right now, it's I think it's just normal post any interview. Like you just feel that rush of adrenaline and I was and I like called my brother and I called my mom just to be brief on what happened. So we were first scheduled only for an hour from three to four. It's currently five. Um the challenge went over like thirty minutes. I don't think that was expected. I think yeah, I think it went okay. I think what made me say that is, you know, of course they're gonna, they might ask you questions afterwards of why you thought like this or what if it was like this. And I'm glad that I really took my time of going back into whatever prompts and notes that I took and those things and really tried my best to absorb and keep all that in mind and consider it for when I did my final um, output design. So I think that really has served me well since I, I was very thoughtful in my answer since I was keeping that in mind the whole time during the challenge. Something I didn't expect was there are different ways that companies can go about whiteboard challenges and it's not like I wasn't aware that this case it happened to go the way that it did but you know when I was preparing and when I was studying, the type of whiteboard challenge that I was used to seeing when I was preparing was in this particular way where you are just given this one sort of problem statement and then you act as a consultant and you lead through the whole thing. But there are other times where whiteboard challenges could literally just be them giving you a research document with details and then for 45 minutes you are actually camera off, audio off, you work on it on your own and then you present your final design in the last 10 minutes. In this case it was not too much like active talking but more presenting at the end and which was fine. This is why again I realized it's so important it's just about the thinking because then you could always adapt and just take your thinking into a new situation but yeah that was just something I didn't really like expect um, since I was used to seeing the other ways of doing it. But yeah, overall I think it went good. I'm just glad final round of interviews done. I have one more final for school that I gotta take care of. But yeah, overall I, I feel good. If there are potential next steps, you know, at this point I do know that I just try my best and if I get it, then that's, then I'm happy. But if I don't, then that's also okay too because I knew that I try my best so either way I will be I'll be fine um but just want to update you on that 
and we shall see what happens. So I will update you when I can. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Okay.